now to a story from the picturesque shores of Pacifica. Homes once standing tall are now on the edge of destruction due to relentless coastal erosion. Here's ABC 7's Gloria Rodriguez. I didn't even realize I had these. Joan Levin is getting ready to move out of this oceanfront historic home in Pacifica because of a threat that creeps closer every day. Coastal erosion. For uh, over 45 years, uh, I was able to maintain it. Uh, we had uh, ravine uh, erosion, and now we have uh, the bluff erosion. And Levin isn't alone. This is just one of many homes in Northern California that's just feet from the beach with amazing ocean views. But it's prime land that's disappearing. A recent study by the U.S. Geological Survey projects up to 75% of California's beaches could become completely eroded by the end of the century. We'll just see a lot fewer wider beaches and we'll see a lot more narrow beaches where the water is right up against the cliff. Areas where once we had large beaches, they're now almost gone. This was a dream home for Levin and her then-husband, who bought the property in 1977. Well, I think the spaces are so open, and then you get the uh, magnificent view of the ocean. Levin has these photographs showing the previous life of the property when it housed Dollar Radio, the first radio communication tower for ships in the Pacific dating back to the 1920s. Levin came to this home with its fresh ocean air and natural beauty to heal after the death of her two-year-old boy. But her dream home started to become a nightmare around 2010 when the cliffs started eroding. This is the scene in Joan Levin's backyard. ABC 7 News captured this footage then as crews drilled more than 20 50-foot deep holes dropping in reinforced steel to buy time. It was shocking to me to see the significant amount of earth that fell into the ocean. Well, there would be huge clumps up to uh, five feet. That's a lot of feet. The erosion's gotten even worse with the recent storms. That's why they put up these tarps. Since 1977, the home has lost quite a bit of its bluff, about the size of a football field. And this deck used to be twice the size. How long the home will still stand here is unclear. I think it is unlikely that Dollar Radio would be here in six to 10 years. It's possible, uh, but I would say unlikely due to the known rate of erosion. and what the past few years have looked like. If you look in the old footage, the deck went way out. There was stairs down, and then the bluff just kept going in gardens and pathways. Corey Krellin is working on a documentary about Dollar Radio and is researching preserving it, but he realizes it'll be an uphill battle. Of all of the erosion I've seen in the past five years, I would estimate probably 80% of it happened this winter. In Santa Cruz, a huge chunk of the road behind me gone after January storms. And to give you an idea of just how much coastal erosion this area has experienced, the land used to extend to here. About 20 to 30 feet further out 20 to 30 years ago, says University of California Santa Cruz professor and geologist Gary Griggs. And I would say this is definitely the worst I've seen in my 55 years here. Griggs has been tracking coastal erosion on the Northern California coast. He showed me how Santa Cruz's iconic coastal road, West Cliff Drive, buckled near Woodrow Avenue in January. We had a combination of very high tides and very large waves that came at the same time on the morning of January 5th of this year, along with strong onshore winds. Griggs says most of California's coastal development came after World War II from 1945 until 1978 during a calm climate period with less storms and rainfall. But the climate change in 1978 and from there on through the next 20 years, we had these big storms and big waves and more rainfall and everybody went, whoa, what's happening? Because we weren't used to that. And then we went into a calm period and now we're in a stormier period. So there is nothing we can do to hold back the Pacific Ocean. So trying to stop it is going to be temporary. But to try to slow down erosion, Sean Batusik of the USGS says there are some options. Coastal armoring, such as concrete seawalls to prevent flooding, rebuilding beaches and sea dunes, 
or manage retreat? A manage retreat is basically infrastructure that is sort of critically threatened by eroding beaches, by cliff failures, and by increased coastal flood areas, basically relocating those places inland. USGS research shows climate change can lead to accelerated erosion. As for Levin, her dream for this home is slowly eroding like the bluff. She invested at least $200,000 into the home as the cliff started to crumble. The high cost prompting her to sell the property. The court allowed her to stay there temporarily. Now the 84-year-old must leave and she's ready to move on. Well, I think it's about time. Levin hopes the new owners will preserve the history of Dollar Radio. In Pacifica, Gloria Rodriguez, ABC 7 News.